Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and I'm back with more from chapter 28 on color. And this is one of my favorite sections. Today's objectives are going to be to explain how color television screens are able to display pictures in full color even though television produces only spots of red, green, or blue light. Define complementary colors and give examples of pairs. And distinguish between color mixing by subtraction and color mixing by addition. <clears throat> So let's first talk about mixing colored light, and we're going to have a lot of fun with this in class. This is one of my favorite things to do. When we mix colors of light, we need to know that we're using the additive primary colors. And the additive primary colors are red, green, and blue. And when you mix those three colors of light together, you will get white. Um, this is not the same as you were taught in art class about mixing colors. And if you notice, if you have a projector or if you look at a TV screen or a computer monitor, you'll notice that the three colors you can adjust are in fact red, green, and blue. And sometimes it will even say that it's an RGB projector or an RGB monitor for this reason, because the, you are using these three colors of light um, in those machines. So adding primary colors of light addition produce the following colors. So white is made by combining red, green, and blue all together. Yellow is produced by combining red and green. Magenta is produced by combining blue and red. And cyan, this uh, kind of bluish green color, is produced by combining green and blue. And We'll experiment with all of those in class. Now, when red and green light shine on a white sheet, the resulting color is, remember, yellow from our list above. Now let's talk about complementary colors. Complementary colors are colors that combine to make white. So the three groups of complementary colors are yellow and blue make white, magenta and green make white, and cyan and red make white. Now the reason this is, because remember from our previous list, yellow is a combination of green and red. So if you have red, green, and blue together, you have white. Magenta is a combination of blue and red. So if you have all three of those together, you have white. And cyan is a combination of blue and green, so you have blue, green, red together, you get white. So that's why those are the complementary colors. So the complementary color of blue is yellow, because yellow is a combination of red, or excuse me, yes, red and green light. Okay, so mixing colored pigments. Now this is different than mixing light. When we mix colored pigments, we use the subtractive primary colors, and they are magenta, yellow, and cyan, which are what our ink cartridges are in our printers other than adding black in as well. So if you've ever had to replace ink cartridges, these are the colors that are in your printer. These are the colors that are used to print books and produce all of the colors that you see in your textbooks and on just anything that is printed. They use these three colors with black added in. Now, mixing paints and dyes is not the same as mixing colored light because the mixed pigments absorb and reflect a number of colors. The color you see is the color that both reflect called subtractive um, color mixing because the color that's both reflect is what you see. The other colors are basically subtracted out. When mixing paint, you use the rule of color subtraction. And just to review here, the three paint or dye colors most useful in color mixing by subtraction are magenta, yellow, and cyan. 
So our objectives today were to explain how color television screens are able to display pictures in full color, even though the television produces only spots of red, green, or blue light, to define complementary colors and give examples of pairs, and distinguish between color mixing by subtraction and color mixing by addition. Don't forget your five questions, and I will be back with some common questions about color in the next video.